hello there. Um, happy Sunday. I hope you guys are doing well. Hope you had a great week and I hope this upcoming week is great. Even better. How about that? <laughs> um, so I am here with another video for you guys. You're welcome. <laughs> Um, but today what I am going to be doing is a craft ease kit and not only a craft ease kit but my very first craft ease kit and not only that my very first well not only my very first craft ease kit but my very first craft ease kit where I, I am an affiliate yay thank you crafties for giving me this opportunity <laughs> um, so basically um, I'm an affiliate which means that Crafties has sent me a kit for free to um, try out and to show you guys. And what comes with me being an affiliate is I have an affiliate link to the Crafties website where you guys can purchase different diamond paintings and paint by numbers kits. Um, and if you do use that link, um, I will get a small and make a purchase. I will get a small kickback from that. So thank you if you choose to use that not obligated. I also do have a discount code for you guys. It is a um, 20, sorry, I had to look. Um, it is a 20% off discount code and the code is, I'll have it here and down below, but it is, it is hair20, H-A-R-E-2-0. So feel free to go ahead and use that discount go code, guys. Thank you, Crafties, for giving that to me, as well as sending me this kit. Um, the kit that we're gonna be working on is called, I believe it's called Lion in Full Colors. Um, an image will be popping up <laughs> showing the image of the diamond painting that I'm that I'm working on. I feel like every single time I do one of these intros, I never get better at these. It's fine. Maybe in 30 more videos, I'll have it down. <laughs> so all that information is going to be down in the description for you guys. And um, I just want to be upfront that even though I am an affiliate for Craft Ease, all of my um, opinions are my own <laughs> opinions. I'm not paid to say anything. Um, as you guys will see later on in the video, I will be sharing th both the positives from working on this kit as well as the areas of room for improvement um, so that you guys can have a fair and honest um, feedback from me. And I always try to make sure my feedback is um, honest and upfront regardless if you guys agree with me or not. So information is there for you guys to you know, work with it if you want to. I don't know if that made any sense, but. So one thing that I learned about Craft Ease recently is that um, Craft Ease has both diamond paintings and paint by numbers kits. And you may notice that the diamond painting images and the paint by number images um, are different images. <laughs> but I learned that if there's a paint by number image that you really want as a diamond painting, you can um, go about getting that image turned into a diamond painting. <laughs> Crafties can do that for you. And I asked them how to do this because it's not very clear for me at least on the website. And the best way for you to do that is to send them an email. I'll have the email pop up as well as down below in the description, but you shoot them an email with the image, the paint by number image, um, and requ politely request to have it um, turned into a diamond painting, and then they get that purchase processed for you. It's, I believe, is the same route as what you would go about, or how it is the same route that you would go about doing for um, a custom image diamond painting. Um, and yeah, so they're happy to do that for you. And that is something that I did not know before I picked this image. So um, in hindsight, I would have, I would have done that if I had to go back and. T Anyways, okay. <laughs> Um, they got lots of lovely images, um, and they license their artwork. They're doing, they're doing things the correct way, as all diamond painting companies should be doing. <laughs> so, yay! Thank you, Crafties, for this opportunity. Um, the diamond painting is finished, because I always film this stuff at the very end, and I'm very excited to show you guys. And yeah, so let's get, let's get started. <laughs> you pulling me closer, but I don't waste your time.
So I wanted to hop in here real quick while I was still working on the diamond painting and show you or tell you guys about um, both the positives in my experience in working on this kit um, as well as the areas that I feel like there's room for improvement. So I'm going to start off with the positives. <laughs> I was pleasantly surprised by the two different colored rhinestone drills that Crafties provided for this kit. It was both a yellow rhinestone and a silver rhinestone, and they look very good. And I really like the um, placement of them in the rendering. It's not just like, it doesn't feel like it's random areas. It's very, it feels like it was placed there with a purpose and it looks very good in the final results. So love that. The rendering looks fantastic. I really liked the color blocking style. And yes, with this um, image artwork for this diamond painting, it is very color blocky, but the rendering looks fantastic. It looks exactly like the um, original image. And I just love the artwork. <laughs> I also love how the rendering um, was printed in squares on the canvas instead of like circles. <laughs> and that basically just makes, at least for me, my life easier when multi-placing um, the rounds um, because it just makes it easier to place the drills without having to worry about lining everything up perfectly and putting, putting the drills perfectly on top of the symbols. I also love how they offer licensed artwork, which fantastic. We love that. As a fellow artist, I appreciate that. And I would honestly say that um, for what you get, the pricing is very um, reasonable. And you get beautiful artwork, a fun kit to work on. What more can you ask for? And so when this kit arrived, it came, they have their own shipper box, which let me go get that. Probably should have shown this sooner. Apologies. <laughs> but this is the box that your diamond painting from Crafties comes in. As you can see, it got a little um, crushed in the postal service. This is not Crafties' fault. Um, I will say that they do not use an exterior shipper box when shipping their kits. They put this in the, you know, like, I don't know the best way to call it, but the, the trash bag material that a lot of companies use. While the trash bag material did not really protect the diamond painting box 
all that well. It did protect the canvas. The canvas wasn't damaged at all. Um, so that's, that's, a, that's a positive. The canvas wasn't damaged. <laughs> um, but this also kind of hops into my rooms for improvement area. I would love to see them utilize exterior shipper boxes if possible. It doesn't even have to be um, a printed shipper box. It can just be a blank craft colored corgate shipper box. Um, but I don't know. I just, I feel like for me personally, having it crushed a little bit, even though it doesn't damage the product, I would just like to see it not smushed. Again, that's my opinion. You guys probably, some of you guys might not even care if it looks like this, but for me, when I'm storing these and trying to stack different boxes on top of each other, like if it's slightly smushed, it just makes it a little harder for me when storing my diamond painting kits. But again, you may not agree. So <laughs> take that, take what you will with that. I don't even think I used that phrase correctly, but you know. Another thing, one of the colors on this canvas was printed um, with the saturation a little bit too high. And while I was able to read all of the symbols, but the letter G symbol, which is this very saturated blue color, I feel like if I had slightly less good vision, I would have a hard time reading that. And the way that I kind of analyzed the canvas before placing drills on to see if any of the symbols were too saturated was um, I squinted my eyes and this blurs out the symbols and the colors. And basically if the symbol almost disappears when you squint your eyes, like it disappears into the background color that it's printed on, that means that it's too saturated um, from my experience <laughs> with analyzing this type of stuff. So I feel like with the dark blues, just be a little careful with that, Crafties. Another thing is Crafties does um, utilize acrylic drills and <laughs> I personally um, don't love acrylic drills, mainly because I tend to always have an issue of acrylic drills popping off. This The kits are um, poured glue, which is amazing. I love that. But for me, and I don't know why it's me, but I don't know why this always happens to me with acrylic drills, but they tend to pop regardless if they're square or round drills. In this case, the round drills and some of the acrylic drills um, were starting to pop off a little bit. But I did notice that in one area where some of the drills were popping off, that was because little bits of the plastic from the plastic sheet on the diamond painting were still stuck to the glue. Basically, the plastic sheet is um, very kind of flimsy. So when you're pulling it back, it tears easily. And so what I believe happened was when I was tearing off a section of the plastic, um, I would cut it with scissors and pull the section back. I feel like it kind of tore a little bit and basically a tiny bit, tiny bits of the plastic sheet that were almost microscopic and invisible to the human eye were still left on the canvas. And when I would place my drills on top of it, the glue isn't, you know, grabbing onto the drills and they would pop off. So I had to go through my um, diamond painting with tweezers and like make sure that areas where drills were trying to like pop off didn't have um, plastic underneath it. So. Now I'm unsure uh, if that is just because of the plastic sheet and me missing that or if it's because it's acrylic drills. But yeah, that's, other than that, I had a fantastic time. I know that was probably a lot of areas of room for improvement, but I really do want to see crafties like become even more successful than they already are. And they don't have to listen to this advice if they don't want to. I'm, I don't even own a business, so, but <laughs> um, yeah. So let me know if you agree or disagree with anything that I have to say. It's totally fine if you guys don't agree with everything or anything that I have to say. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys can see that I'm not just saying only positives. <laughs> so anyways, I'm going to finish this kit up for you guys and then we'll wrap things up.
Okay, it is all finished. Looks fantastic. Um, I did seal this kit just to give you guys a heads up, but I always do that with every single one of my diamond paintings regardless. Um, I just like to do that. It's a, fun, it's a fun part of the process for me. I don't know why, <laughs> but it's sealed. Looks fantastic. Um, and I honestly really had a nice time and nice enjoyable time working on this kit. I would absolutely love to work on more kits from Crafties, and I really want to try um, a paint by numbers kit. So if you guys are interested in seeing a paint by numbers kit from Crafties, let me know. I would love to try that out. Um, I've seen a few YouTubers work on them and they seem like a ton of fun. And I have like quite a few designs from Crafties that I really want to do as diamond paintings. And then the same goes for um, the paint by numbers kits. <laughs> um, so yeah. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> Thank you, Crafties, for giving me this opportunity. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know down below. Um, again, all of this information, including the kit that I got from Crafties, will be down below for you guys. Any links, coupon codes, all that stuff will be down below, um, as well as the tools that um, I utilized during this diamond painting session. <laughs> I hope you guys are okay with Sunday videos. I know I've, I've never really had... Um, a dedicated day for when I post my videos just because of how frantic my schedule is but so far as of now Sundays seem to be working so yay <laughs> it's it's been working out for me I am feeling a bit I don't want to say burnt out but I'm getting I'm getting tired <laughs> um and yeah I am just I think I might be ready for a change of pace or a break I'm still going to be doing videos, don't worry. I'm just going to be maybe be trying different things. Um, or maybe I'll take a break on the larger kits and work on smaller kits. Uh, many of you have requested to for me to please, please, please continue the um, Disney Princess Panels diamond painting series. That is coming, I promise. <laughs> video after next, vi the video after next will be that again, so don't worry. Um, I will be catching up with that. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching again. Really appreciate it. Um, if you liked this, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Tell me how your day is. How was your weekend? Because it's Saturday for me right now. <laughs> if you haven't, subscribe. That'd be great. I would love I would love that and appreciate that. And yeah, my face is all broken out in acne, but that's fine. That's not relevant at all. But you get the real me, <laughs> the real genuine me. <laughs> But yeah, that's all I got for you guys. So thank you again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.